Oh yeah, let's read it and go on an adventure. Today we're going to be reading Dear Dragon, written by Josh Funk, illustrated by Rodolfo Montalvo. But first, before we dive into this amazing tale, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Now, let's jump right into our story. Hello, students! Our poetry and pen pal projects this year are combined. Upon your desks, you'll see the pen pals that you've been assigned. Please make sure the letters that you write are all in rhyme. Now open up your envelopes because it's pen pal time! September 12th. Dear Blaze Dragomir, We haven't met each other and I don't know what to say. I really don't like writing, but I'll do it anyways. Yesterday, my dad and I designed a giant fort. I like playing catch and soccer. What's your favorite sport? Sincerely, George Slayer. October 1st. Dear George Slayer, I also don't like riding, but I'll try it, I suppose. A fort is like a castle, right? I love attacking those. My favorite sport is skydiving. I jump near Falcor Peak. Tomorrow is my birthday, but my party is next week. Sincerely, Blaze Dragomir. October 31st. Dear Blaze Dragomir, you know how to skydive? That's as awesome as it gets. My dog destroyed my fort last night. Do you have any pets? Happy birthday, by the way. I don't have mine till June. I'm trick-or-treating as a knight. We're heading out real soon. George Slayer. November 14th. Dear George Slayer, Knights are super scary. I don't like to trick or treat. Brushing teeth is such a pain. I rarely eat a sweet. My pet's a Bengal kitten, and tonight she needs a bath. What's your favorite class in school? I'm really into math. Blaze Dragomir. December 16th. Dear Blaze D, my favorite class is art. I made a mold of my left hand. Next, we'll craft mosaics using pebbles, stones, and sand. Yesterday, I won a prize in this year's science fair. My towering volcano blasted lava everywhere. George S. January 18th. Dear George S., my father's won our local fire breathing contest twice. He still retains the record, melting 50 cubes of ice. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy collecting rocks. I keep them in a secret place inside a precious box. Blaze D. February 22nd. Blaze. Fire breathing? What's your father's job? My folks are teachers. I collect exotic monsters, animals, and creatures. Oh, guess what? I heard the news this morning from Miss Sweet. A pen pal's picnic's planned for June. At last, we'll get to meet. George. March 15th. George. Dad's in demolition. He works hard throughout the day. But every night we read a book or pick a game to play. Soon he's going to take me flying. Once it's really spring. It's such a rush to ride the air that flows from wing to wing. Blaze. April 11th. Hi, Blaze. Skydiving and flying lessons? Wow, your parents rock. I'm lucky if my father lets me bike around the block. Once the school year's over and this project is complete, should we continue riding? Because it could be kind of neat. Your friend, George. May 12th. Hey, George. I'm psyched about the picnic and I can't wait to attend. Who'd have thought this pen pal thing would make me a new friend? Writing more sounds awesome. I was going to ask you, too. I've never liked to write as much as when I write to you. Your friend, Blaze. Blaze? George? My pen pal is a dragon. My pen pal is a human? Our plan was a success, my friend, or so it would appear. The Poetry and Pen Pal Project, once again next year? 
And that concludes our fantastic journey with Dear Dragon by Josh Funk. What a heartwarming and clever story, my amazing viewers. I hope you had a great time joining me today as we followed the pen pal's unexpected friendship. If you enjoyed this wonderful tale, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who appreciate the magic of friendship and connection. Before we say goodbye, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating book readings and heartwarming stories. Your support means the world to us and it helps our book-loving community grow. If you'd like to add Dear Dragon to your own collection, you can find the book through the link in the description below. It's a delightful read that reminds us of the joy of unexpected connections and the power of friendship. Thank you so much for being a part of our reading journey. Let's continue to celebrate friendship and the magic of sharing stories just like the characters in Dear Dragon did. Until our next heartwarming adventure, take care and happy reading.